so there there was that and uh that part was interesting i, I will tell you uh mystery used to make us do this equation i thought it was really interesting but before it was boot camps and it was how many times has a woman been approached from the time she goes through puberty till the time she's 21 and we started do you do the math on it and it's like five times a day versus this many days of his li life and she's let's just say two days a week she's not out and it would it came up to some ungodly number of like twenty four thousand times she had been approached before the time she was 22 and then and then we did the same equation for a man and it was like oh. less than a 500 and I was, and then the the, the the thing he was trying to express to you is, of course, she is more calibrated than you. She's been approached hundreds of thousands of times more than you have. So when you come up and you're not congruent with the person that you're saying, she's going to pick that out. Um, David Buss talked about this and Myron Gaines actually talked about this on Fresh and Fit was the, the concept of women having a better ability to walk into a room and be able to tell to sniff out hierarchies. They can very quickly tell that like that guy's the boss, but that guy's in charge. And that person's cheating on them, their, their husband with that person right there. Women are better at that than men. And I thought that was really interesting. And, and uh, Dr. Buss was talking about that too. She, he went on a date one time to, one, uh, to, to some event and then came out later and is like, wow, it's crazy that Becky's like cheating on her husband with blah, blah, blah. And he's like, what are you talking about? He's like, how could you tell? I was like, I just watched them together. Turns out later she was completely right. And so whereas, you know, and, the, and these sex differences are things that some people find offensive or, or controversial, whereas men tend to be better at pathfinding. Women tend to be better at, at, at telling uh, social hierarchies. Women tend to be better at reading facial expressions because Absolutely. I'm because our, the, our gender, specifically the XY gender, just not, so we don't get in trouble here. The XY gender doesn't carry children. The XX gender carries the children. And so because of that, she would have to be better at reading facial expressions than men. This is an Absolutely. evolutionary adaptation that happens. And that part was getting skipped too, because something, uh, it was General Patton who said this, it was one of my favorite quotes. I'm you know former military officer. Yeah. Uh, the, the enemy gets a vote too, mm -hmm. right? And one of the things that happened with early pickup, it was like, you didn't get the girl because you didn't do the pickup lines correctly. Wait, yeah. no, no, wait, what if she just didn't want to fuck you? Oh no, that's not a possibility. <laughs> That's not a possibility. You didn't do your gambit correctly mm -hmm. and didn't go to this you step, to this step, enough step. Attraction, you well, not enough rapport. So then she opted out. Then she opted out, and it was one of these crazy things where I, I you know, when I started teaching social circle stuff, it was like, how about let's just have hundreds of them? Mm -hmm. Then a couple of them will pick you, and then once the first one picks you, then two more will fight over you. Then three. Then all of a sudden, the rumors come out that you had a threesome with these two. Then then four more fight after you, and then now you don't do any pickup at all, right? And it was just so outside, but uh, guys who ran strip clubs, guys who were bartenders, guys who were like male strippers, guys who were VIP hosts. When I explained it to them, they were like, duh, how come every, everyone knows this? This is obvious. Yeah. Whenever I talk to guys in pickup, because here's the other thing that I, that I noticed, and maybe you saw this too. When you had a, the nerdy guy who was picked on in high school and he comes into this whole thing and you tell him, hey bro, here's a great piece of advice. Go find some dudes who just fucking slay and hang out with them for a couple mm -hmm. years. Live with them for a couple years. They're like, no, those were the guys who put my head in the toilet when I was a freshman in high school. Fuck those guys. I don't want to hang out with Brock the quarterback and Kyler. I don't want to hang out with Brock. the big, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hang out with those guys. And so what happened was a lot of, the, a lot of times I would see this difference where I, I lived in Atlanta in 07. I would hang out with these club promoters who literally were just had women falling off of them. Mm -hmm. Would go to a club with 20, 30, 40 girls. And then I would read pickup forums and hang out with these guys who couldn't get a girl to save their life. And the reason why these two groups never communicated was because these guys had nothing, they had no interest in hanging out with pickup dudes. And pickup dudes were intimidated by the fucking former quarterback. And I just saw this, this separation that happened during that period of time.